Okay, grade 10. So today we're going to be looking at some descriptive geometry for you guys. And you'll see that there is a drawing on my board here. It's quite a small little drawing. But basically uh, what I want to do is just introduce to you the idea of um, descriptive geometry. I mean, yeah, descriptive geometry. So what you guys actually end up using descriptive geometry in is transition pieces once you get to grade 11. So it is actually quite important that you grasp these basic concepts before you move on as it will make things a little bit easier for you guys. Obviously, you will still be able to pick it up in grade 11, but I'm sure with this little um, example that I'll be showing you now, you will be able to understand it quite well. Okay, so what we are going to be looking for is the true length of line zy as well as the true inclination okay um of line zy true inclination right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly highlight line zy for you just in case you can't see what um where it is on the board so hopefully this way you will be able to see and that's where the line is now with descriptive geometry basically what you're trying to do is trying to find the true length of certain lines and the reason why i say that is because if i tell you to look at this pen like this right you'll see that the true length of the pen is exactly as how i show it to you okay but if i had to hold the pen up like this and you had to look at it it would appear slightly different okay it would appear shorter in length and so the point of descriptive geometry is to find out the exact length given to you. Now, how we are going to find this length here is by using what we call the projection method. Okay. All right. So let's just get started. So what you want to start off by doing before we even find the true length is by taking a ruler over here. Okay. And laying it flat against this line over here. Okay. Once it is flat, you're going to take a second ruler. Let's actually use a different one so that mine lies flat. So you're going to take a second ruler, such as this one here, and you are going to draw lines perpendicular to the points Y and Z. So here we'll have a line perfectly perpendicular, and then we're going to do the same on the other side over here. Oopsie perfectly perpendicular as well okay then we just clean these up a little bit so you guys can obviously see what we are working with all right now that we've got the lines that you can see just keep in mind that these do need to be like construction lines so let me just make that very clear now before we move on okay so now that you've got those lines what you're going to do is you're going to take a ruler and you're going to take a another ruler and you're just going to use that ruler as a but to slide your line onto there. And the reason why we do that is because what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the base of the triangle that would be formed inside this pyramid, okay? So we've got the base, and this length would essentially be the same as this length over here, okay? But now we want to actually find the true length of the sloping line, as you can see over here. So what we're going to do is now that we've got the base, we are going to take the true height of this here. On your workbook, it might be something different, but on my measurement here, it is six. And you're going to take the measurement that you have measured. In my case, it is six. In your case, it might be something else. And from the point here, you're going to make a measurement where that um, line would end, okay, taking the total height. Once you've got the height, what you're going to do is you're going to connect the end here to this bit here. And you'll see it forms a sort of triangle um, over here that you've now projected. Okay, So now that you have found that, you can measure this length here. And my measurement gives me a length of 65. So now I know that the true length of this line is 65 mils. Okay. And then the true inclination will be the angle at which the slope is sitting at. 
in which case you could use your protractor and you could line it up nicely and if I had to measure I would say it's about 69 degrees on my board over here and that's basically how you tell the true length or find the true length of a shape with a slope because like I say you might not always be able to see how um, tall or long something is if you're looking at it from an angle okay so that's a very brief explanation I hope that it gives you guys a bit of an idea of what is um, asked of you and what is meant with this exercise in your workbook and thank you for watching